Over at Plugin Boutique this month, there are a whole bunch of bargains from Softube. We can see the prices are great, but how good are the plugins? I've put together some demos so you can decide. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. One of the major new releases from Softube is Volume 6, which is their kind of mega bundle, if you like. And a massive component of Volume 6 is the new amp room. So this serves as a kind of a core part of the demos that I'm about to show you. Let's dive in and take a look. Many of you may recall the old amp room plugins looking like this. They were separate products for separate purposes. For example, we've got the vintage amp room on the left over here. You can go through, choose your amp, move mics around, etc, etc. And on the right hand side, similar thing, but we've got the base amp room product. And they were separate products, separate plugins. Plugins, okay, and indeed you may recall these products being available as native um, UAD or universal audio plugins, okay, and that's a kind of a testament to their quality because I can tell you that universal audio don't just let anyone through um, with any old plugins okay now the new amp room has changed quite a bit there are still separate products however you can combine them all and use them all in this one plugin so here we can see the marshall suite loaded up if i go down to the bottom here i can flick over to uh, the metal suite for example here or you know the vintage suite here and the great thing about this is now you can mix and match the products all in the same interface so you may you know choose an amp here from the vintage suite but you may think hey I want you know some cabinets from the Marshall suite so if you go over to cabinets here I can just click on this here and choose one of the Marshall cabinets just drag and drop it on here and hey presser so you can so you can sort of blend all of the different components that are available we're going to talk in a little, in a little bit more detail in a moment about the different components and about how you combine them but before we do that, I want you to hear the demo and I want to give you a quick explanation of what you're about to hear. The first guitar you're going to hear is my Gretsch. And for that, I used a part of the vintage um, suite and I use this amp here, this um, <laughs> can't get my words out Pacific Dual Tremolo 100 Watt this is the black version okay and this has got a nice natural kind of overdriven sound so I didn't use any of the pedals for overdrive here okay there, there's a few pedals in here I've got a gate I've got compression um, and I've got a treble boost but not using anything for overdrive okay in contrast to that you'll see you'll hear a strat come in or my strat will come in a little bit later and I use this amp okay this is the silver version Version of the same amp by itself it doesn't overdrive all that naturally it's got a beautiful beautiful clean tone very very chimey with a strap but I in this case I used a pedal to really create the overdrive okay this green one here which has got a very familiar look to it for those of you who know your guitar pedals so before we dive into this plug in a little bit uh, in a little bit more detail let's just have a quick listen to the first demo <laughs> So in the main view of this plugin, which is called the Suite View, S-U-I-T-E, we've got sort of five basic sections, okay? We start off by looking at the amp section, but you can see over here to the left, um, we've got the pedal section, which also happens to have an EQ in there at the moment. Then to the right of the amp section, we've got the cabinet section in here. Obviously, you can swap out your cabs. You can change microphones for your cabinets, move the microphone position like so, etc. This is really great for building a tone, I have to say, using this section. Then you've got your studio effects section where you can apply effects 
after the amp and cab section okay you can use pedals in here or different effects and then finally you can see this really really handy and easy and nice to use eq here as well so that is the suite view but there's also the studio view and i'll click over to that and I've got to say, I slightly prefer this view, okay, if you're going for uh, slightly more complex setups, okay. As you can see, you can just sort of move around, um, you know, and just go into the different uh, parts of the signal chain here, okay. If you want to swap things out, you could, for example, you know, grab this amp here and just drop it on an existing amp and just swap it out like so. Or you can make more complex sort of routing. I'll grab an amp here and just drag it in between these two cabinet sections okay so now you can see we've got a couple of splits there so we've got a different amp for this cabinet than we have for this cabinet so i find that this view is just a little bit more sort of versatile in that way and of course you've got everything from all of the uh, suites that you own available to you here at the bottom you can just grab them and drag them on and if you want to see something in a bit more detail let's say i want to look at this amp here in the middle in a little bit more detail i can just double click on that and it brings up you know the sort of detailed view of that amp where i can go in and make adjustments now i must admit that for me i more often than not am looking for clean amp sounds or slightly overdriven amp sounds with the styles of music that I play. And that's what you kind of heard in the first demo, as well as, and I forgot to mention, that I was using some of the bass suite as well. I used some of the amp, uh, amps and cabinets from the bass suite. But I know some of you are going to want to hear something a little bit more high gain. I haven't ventured into the metal suite. There's plenty of YouTubers that do that. But I have put together another demo which was largely based upon the Marshall suite. Let's have a listen. So apart from using Amp Room in the demos, I also used a selection of plugins from the Volume 6 bundle, okay? The first one I used was this one, this Opto Compressor, which I used on the bass guitar to kind of uh, even out the playing, okay? So that you didn't have sort of certain notes which are just much louder than the other, for example. Now, what they've done here with this is obviously based upon an extremely famous opto compressor the giveaway is the kind of white color to the front of it but they've expanded the functionality the original um, was very simple in design just really one knob to control the amount of compression but they've given you a lot more versatility with this for example you've got this timing control over here um, which wasn't on the original you've got this drive control over here on the right which wasn't on the original so it just allows you, allows you to sort of tweak things a little bit more in the same kind of vein, um, they also have available this one, uh, which is a FET compressor. Uh, again, based upon another really famous compressor from the same company, but giving you some options that were also not available on the original. So, for example, on the original, we just had four ratios to choose from, 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, and 20 to 1. Uh, but on this version, you can flick this over to some lower ratios. You can see here 1 to 1, 1.5 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to to one okay so if you want to be much more subtle with your compression you've got that ability there okay the other thing that i used that was on the gretsch guitar in the first demo was this reverb i really like this um, although they say this is not based upon any particular piece of hardware, I'm going to say it's a little similar to uh, some of the Lexicon re reverbs from the 80s. You can get some really nice, uh, especially larger reverb sounds from this. Okay, but I, So I used this on the Gretsch guitar at the beginning. I also, in terms of what I used on guitars, used this uh, quite odd little plugin which is uh the acoustic feedback plugin so this is uh designed to emulate those kind of feedback sounds that you'll get from um highly overdriven guitars etc and i used it just to add a little bit of a, mm, a kind of a scream effect to the strat which i used in the second demo go back and have a listen to that again if you're not sure what i'm talking about okay then on my master bus 
I used this for as the as the maximizer or limiter. Okay, sweet little plugin to use. Quite straightforward to use in many ways. You've got some different styles that you can choose from at the bottom here, um, and I really actually felt that was quite useful. This Weiss MM1. Okay. Now, in addition to this particular plugin on my master bus, I also used another SoftShoe plugin, which is called Bus Processor. You know you'll hear people talking about plugins which add kind of glue to a mix. Well, this is definitely one of those plugins, in my opinion. It's called a bus processor. You could use it, say, for example, on a drum bus or some other bus, but you can also use it on your master bus, as I've done with this particular mix. Now, before we get into all of the controls with this, I just want to do some quick before and after comparisons, okay? So you can just hear um, what I've been able to achieve with the with the simple settings I've used here. So let's just listen to the second half of the first demo without this switched on. So it's bypassed at the moment. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Let's switch it on. Let me know in the comments down below what differences you think you could hear there. Now, there's three main parts to this plugin, and a big part of it is compression. So all of these controls in the middle here are related to compression, the usual controls that you're kind of used to seeing. And there's also some sidechain controls here um, related to compression, and you can also use an external sidechain as well. And it's nice to see they've got this wet-dry knob up here so you you can do some parallel compression with this plugin. Um, and also just I want to note that the ratio goes down to some nice low values as well. So if you want to be super subtle, you know, perhaps that in combination with a soft knee, um, you can definitely achieve that with this. On the right hand side, we have everything related to saturation. And let's face it, you know, SoftTube are very, very well known for their saturation. And I just used it in this example just to add a tiny little bit of sort of grit, if you like, to it. It's very subtle, but um, it's just there, and I rather like that. And by the way, you can use this button down here if you want to place the saturation before the compressor in the signal chain. And then finally, at the bottom here, you have these three controls. So you've got this air control, which uh, much like other air controls on other um, plugins and on hardware, adds a little bit of sort of top end you know, in there in a very nice way. Then we've got a simple stereo with control. I love to keep this side of things simple, okay? I just want to make things sound a bit wider, uh, which I've made this sound quite wide, actually. I've exaggerated the stereo field a little bit, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure the bass was in the middle. So I used this control for that, um, this mono bass. So this is just a frequency cutoff control. Everything below that frequency is going to be in mono. Overall, what I found with this plugin is it doesn't take much time to get to know it, and that's nice to see. You can just drop it in on a bus, and I think, you know, within a minute or two, quickly be able to get the kind of results that you are aiming for with it. It's just got enough control to be able to do that. And overall, a beautiful little plugin, which I'll be using a lot of in the future. As I said in the intro, I've made these demos so that you can make a decision about these plugins. But I'd be fascinated to hear from you in the comments down below. What was your favorite plugin in today's video? Which one have you got your eye on? Now, don't forget to follow those links in the description down below. There's quite a few bargains from SoftTube on plugins boutique at the moment some i haven't mentioned in this video go ahead and check them out thank you so much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video